Okay, so let's take a look on how to use multicast on Axis camera and how to control the multicast traffic. That's very, very important. So here I have a web browser I'm going to use to configure the camera. And here I have Wireshark so we can see the traffic and see if it multicast is working. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to the Ethernet interface and come here to select a filter. So basically Ethernet interface here and I click here to bring a filter and that will be the one based on host. So let me just input here the IP of my camera on Ethernet interface, hit start. Okay, and right now I'm just waiting for traffic between my camera and my computer, okay? So when I open here, my web browser, you see that the camera starts communicate with my computer and then I see the traffic here, okay? Source is my computer, uh, source is the camera and destination is my computer. Here we have the IP addresses. Let me just input the username and password here. Just wait for a while and you see here all the conversation between camera and username, password, it's, it's uh, the conversation between those devices where Shark can see everything, okay? So basically here I have viewer browser, the image from my camera. I just click here to load and just move my hand in front of the camera. Here we go, so it's working. And now I'm going to the settings menu, system. And here on playing config, okay? You can find this uh, menu on old cameras. It's the same menu, playing config. And then you need to go to network and look for uh, multicast, okay? It's a little bit different on old cameras with different uh, firmware, but in the end of the day, you need to come to playing config and look for network, as I'm doing right here with this menu. And let me just go down. And here I can look for multicast. So here we go. Here it is, okay? Always multicast video. So in R0, there's also R1, R2, R3, and so on. I'm going to use R0. And click here to always multicast video. And here's the video address, okay? This is important because in a while you're gonna see here this IP address that represents the multicast. And uh, I'm just save this and pay attention that I'm not streaming any video at all. I'm just enable multicast here and I save the configuration. Okay, and as you can see here, Wireshark is already showing the pack, packets from uh, the camera using multicast. Okay, a lot of them. Let me just stop here, just stop rolling so we can see better. Then we have this IP destination here. It's a multicast address that I have right here on R0. Here we go. Here's the address. That's the same address, okay? So that's uh, important that you can understand that as soon as I enable here always multicast video, the camera is start multicasting on my network. Right now, every port on my switch is receiving multicast traffic. I connect uh, any device on any port, this device start receiving a flood of uh, video stream using multicast, okay? And that's not good, we have to control that. So let me just keep rolling here again. It's not under control, but you can control using the correct switch. So I will come here to my switch. As you can see here, I'm using a Cisco switch. Here's the command line. And I can see IGMP snooping, it's disabled. So I need this IGMP snooping to control the traffic and uh, I can just come here and enable. Let me just come here as administrator and it should just command IP, IGMP, snooping. 
Of course, it's different for different switches. This one is a Cisco. If you have a different switch, you need to find a way to enable IGMP Snoopy, okay? As soon as I hit enter here, you take a look again on Wireshark and you see the traffic is under control right now. I have just traffic here. This one on green is for the TCP IP communication between browser and the camera, okay? It's not uh, multicast traffic anymore. Okay, so now I have my traffic under control. This is very, very important. And when I request the traffic, multicast traffic, then I should see here the traffic again on Wireshark. That's the idea. So to request traffic, let me just uh, minimize this web browser here and use VLC, okay, with VLC. I can come here to media, open network stream, and use this command here. I'm change the IP here because this is for my camera. And here, basically, I'm using HTTP, the camera's IP, access CGI, always multi dot SDP, question mark, camera one. Okay, so basically I'm using camera one here because I was configuring R0 there on the camera, okay? And I uh, request the always multicast that's, uh, that I just enabled there on my camera. Let's see if that works. I just hit play here and there's an authentication. I'm gonna try to authenticate here, hit enter. And you see there's some bar here rolling on both sides and I don't have video, okay? And I look at here at Wireshark, Wireshark is saying something. Let me just pause here for a while. And as I can see here, it sends the command, access CGI, always multicast.sdp, question mark camera one, but there is no authorization, it's unauthorized, you see? So it's basically not working. Let me just follow the HTTP stream here so we can see what's going on. It says that it's not authorized, okay? That's because it needs to use basic authentication. So what I have to do here then is to go to the camera again and here on the menu, look for HTTP. HTTP, let me just hit here, Control F, and look for HTTP, it's not the one. Here we go, and change here from basic and digest just to basic. So I'm going to use basic authentication, okay? So it's important to understand this. If you're using this option with always multicast, you need to enable basic authentication here. And you need to go to R0 right here and check always multicast video, okay? So basically two things you have to do. Let me just save now and try again. Remember that my, my multicast is under control now because the switch has IGMP snooping. I have everything under control. And here I'm changing the authentication. The browser is going to ask me to log in again. Here we go, there's the login screen. I don't need that right now. Let me just come back here to VLC and try to log in again. Let me just clean the screen here and just capture back, back for my camera again. And let me try again. Open the network stream. Here's the command, it's already there. And I hit play, username and password. Wait for authentication and it buffers and it loads. And here we go. Okay, let me just change here the size so I can see better and just drag it here. Here we go, the camera is working. Okay. And now let me just start rolling here again. I forgot to roll the, the, the screen here. And as you can see, it's using multicast traffic, okay? for this IP. And when I hit like stop here, 
wait for a while and it stops because the switch is controlling this right now, the traffic. It just get the traffic when I request the traffic. And here, let me just come here to the switch. And here I can see if I use this command again, show IP agmp snooping. Groups. Okay, let me see now. I need to go back and then I can use this command, okay? Here we go. So basically the switch shows that I have this IP here as a group, as a multicast group, which means that I have multicast under control. As you can see here, I have it under control. Let me just hit play here again. Any buffers and I have image one more time. You see the screen again multicast rolling rolling here on my Wireshark and everything is working, okay? So that's the way you can enable always multicast on the camera and can also have multicast under control using the correct switch with the iGMP protocol.